I just keep oh, trying not to accept. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. Well, that stopped me crying. <laughs> Man on a scooter just drove by. Absolutely cursing out no one but everyone. <laughs> If you could guess right now how many bookmarks are on this rack, what would you guess? We have a show on Friday. Do we though? I'm not sure because I have no idea if I'm even like going. Um, and by that I mean I have no idea if they have me on the list. Have you guys ever seen a depressed kitty? Because I think, I think we have one. Okay, so far so good. It's hefty. That is some weight. You feel far away. I think this is gonna be a problem. I told you I wanted a chair that spins, and after breaking that chair, <laughs> I did it. I bought one. I bought the viral TikTok chair that is very, very wide. It's called the crisscross chair because you can truly crisscross your feetsies, and it's still comfy. Um, and like I said, it will be a problem because all I'm gonna do is this every video and you're going to get super annoyed with me. Um, right now I am trying to untangle some necklaces because I want to do a layered necklace effect and um, I think what I want is in here. I'm not quite sure though. Let me put you on a tripod so you're not like in a weird position. This feels dangerous. No, don't like that. Sure. Okay. Um, hey, what's up? It is Monday. I think a lot has gone on today so far. It feels like it should be the end of the day and it's not. Um, it's like almost three, not quite three. We had therapy this morning, um, play therapy. I should be in therapy. <laughs> uh, then we went to the Y, then I checked out my new office. Um, first time I'm in my life I'm ever gonna have, I've ever had, not I'm ever going to, I've ever had a window in my office so like I can actually see what the weather is like and have daylight come in. It's gonna be magical. <laughs> I can get a plant. I've had a window before but it's been a window to a hallway and so it let in zero natural light. So this is an improvement. I don't think any of these necklaces are what I want. I did. <laughs> I found some, I thought I had, I was, I told you guys, I was so excited, um, I sold all my tumblers, the ones, because I had, if you're new here, hey, what's up, I'm Brittany, um, I had metal tumblers engraved with one of my, like, mom designs, and, like, I'm just gonna veer away from having mom designs, because they just don't sell well, they sell, but it's, like, maybe one, a market, well, something mom-related will sell, not enough, and so I'm getting rid of them, I don't want silver, uh, but I had these metal ones. I only bought 10 of them. I'm only selling nine of them. I thought I had sold nine. And in my mind, I was like, I feel like I haven't sold this many, but I ran out of them at the market. And then I was organizing <laughs> the other day and I found four. So I had actually only sold five. Yeah, five. That's why I didn't feel like I felt that. I sold nine, because I didn't. I sold five, and I still had four in here. So that's annoying. We have to bring those again. <sighs> I might just do free tumbler with like a $60 purchase or something. I don't know. The number's going to have to be high to do that, because like I'm not really making... Well, I'm definitely not going to make money if I do a free tumbler with a purchase, but I'm not making money off of them. Um, I had them for 29 with a, like a free tumbler charm and I sold maybe two of them like that um but you know like I, I get it like at that price just go get yourself a Stanley you know you're not gonna get the tumbler charm but it's the same thing though like it works the exact same 
It's not like the technology in Stanley makes the ice stay cold so much longer. It doesn't. They they work the same, but like I get it, people like the brand names. Um anyways, point is I have them again, so you're going to see them again, and when you're seeing them and if I didn't mention it, you'd be like, "Did she order more?" No, I did not. I found them. Okay. Um anyways, it is Monday. The market is Friday. It's a night market. I need to check with them and confirm that I'm on their list though because I don't know what it is but sometimes my phone does not send my email so like I when they had first said you can like you're accepted I immediately wrote back and like sent them a photo of like one of my under the sea themed things that's what the theme is and I was like I'm so excited thank you so much um they never got that because then I got an email like oh maybe five days later saying like you have not been confirmed because we haven't received your response yet please respond um if you would like the spot or we'll move on to someone else and like I immediately was like oh I'm so sorry um yes I absolutely want it blah blah blah, blah. um I'm really excited <laughs> but then I haven't received anything back yet so I'm like well did they even get that one um, and so I'm nervous that they did not. What's this? Okay. Nope. Okay. Let me... <laughs> I would put earrings in. My ears have been struggle bus and real bad. Um, I need to put earrings in. They get like infected and close up on me and I know that's because my ears are sensitive like I know that it's certain metals do not do well in them like I am aware but I thought I had I thought I have been purchasing metals that are better for them and apparently not I also don't know I have to go to a meeting tonight just like a meeting to meet um, some of like the officials of the school I guess you can call um, and I don't know, I don't have anything to wear. I feel like this might be inappropriate, but at the same time, it's just like a, it's a really quick meeting, just a real quick one. And I don't have anything else. And I'm like, I have this sundress, but then it has like a back cut out. Like, is that inappropriate? I don't know. I'm not sure, but like nothing fits. <sighs> Randy and I have been eating um, a lot of like, kind of keto not it's not we're not keto but like trying to lower our carb intake so we're doing more like veggies and meat and like we still do cheese we like cheese i'm not willing to give that one up yet um so i'm hoping i can fit back into some of my stuff but at the same time i don't really have much professional wear because the last two years i've literally just been in gym clothes um spandex that is all and you can't wear that to work and so we went to Play-Doh's and I got a few things. I found some, I feel, stop me if I've told you this. I found some Halara pants, brand new. Had them in my shopping cart. Um, and they're like, I think if you get them online, it's like 26-ish dollars, at least on TikTok shop. And I think when I went to the website, it was around the same price. Um, but I found them brand new for $14. And they're so comfy and I love them. So I need to get a few more pairs of those. But I need to wait until we have uh, more income coming in to do that. So that is on my list. And I just need a couple of like basic tops really. I would love, let me know if you know of any like um, like short sleeve or long sleeve tops that have like a built in bra in them. Like that was my ideal situation where I'm not wearing a bra but I am wearing a bra. You know what I mean? Something's built into it where it's kind of like almost like an active top but like for work, you know? Um, let me know. You know, you know of any of those. I could probably Google that. I just don't know of any. Anyways, okay, right now what we need to do is print off some shipping labels. Let me go put these necklaces away because I am done with them. Asher has not taken his nap. He is right now yelling in his room. He goes in and out of being quiet and then talking and then yelling and then being quiet. Like, he just needs to nap. That's what I need him to do. <laughs> but very likely you will see him um, in here in a, in a few minutes. <laughs> and if you have any suggestions for me of where other than Play-Dohs, and then obviously I go to Goodwill all the time, trust me, I'm looking there, um, where to get some professional clothes that aren't like super expensive but are also cute but comfy. It's like maybe if I'm in between sizes, I can still fit both sizes, you know? Um, stretchy is important to me, soft is important to me, and um, 
cute and comfortable. All of those things, if you can just mash them together. Not picky, not picky at all. Very, very picky. Actually, quite picky. Um, if you're picking up on that. All right. I did set up, let's see if this works, a little shipping station down here. Um, let me move these tumblers. We're still organizing um, for sure. But I wanted a permanent spot for this. Oh, speaking of um, organizing, I found these at a neighbor's house who does Amazon, not, yeah, not Amazon, Target pallet returns. They buy return pallets from Target. Have you seen those YouTube videos? I like watching them on Hope Scope. Um, and then they sell them in their yard. And I had, they had two brand new, new boxes of Target's, it's called Bright Room or something like that. But they're organizers. They're four cubby organizers and two of them brand new. And they were like, make me an offer. And I was like, no, <laughs> I hate doing that. I hate doing that. I was like, I have no idea how much they're worth and I don't want to offend you. And he was like, okay, um, you can have them both for 50. And my face must have been like, I don't have $50. <laughs> because he was like, that's not going to work, is it? And I was like, no. And I was like, okay, make me an offer. And I was like, ugh. And I was like, will you do 35 for both? And he was like, uh... Okay, sure. And they gave them to me and they're perfect. And I looked them up later after I got home and they're just one of them is $45. So I got two for 35. That's a deal. And they're pretty good quality. Highly recommend. I have this thing from Target too. Um, different. It's like, I forget what the brand is. Dang it. I'm blanking on it. A lot of places sell it. Um, very, very cheaply made uh compared to this one like this is sturdy this is the flimsiest thing in the world i don't know how we moved this from to utah and then from utah and how it stayed together i have no idea it is like a second away from collapsing though um and these are great so if you're looking for an organizer target has them and they're called like bright rooms or something so anyways back to my outfit <laughs> I actually haven't even tested to see if that outlet works. Never used it. It does. Okay. So I don't know what had happened, but Etsy, like, Within an hour, I had four orders. I never get orders on Etsy. And then when I say that, I mean, I get one order a week on average. Maybe one order, maybe two orders a week um, to be on the safe side. Maybe two orders a week, maybe. But I got four in an hour. And so I had have been on their main page or something or like first up in the search results for just a short period of time because that's the only thing I think of, because they're not even shared, share and saves. They're just like, they're just orders. These people I do not know, you know? And so we're printing those off and then I have one TikTok order. So let's do all of that now. He's singing Old McDonald right now. <laughs> All right, um, we have five orders. That's a lot. For Jasmine in Nevada, she ordered a strawberry bookmark for Piper, I like that name, Piper in Washington bought a night court bookmark. Jilin, Jilin, we know I struggle with names. Jalan in Georgia bought a star tumbler charm that is a classic elsa in washington another washington nope different places um but washington elsa bought a mushroom bookmark and then shelby in new york bought a mushroom belt bag charm that is my first online belt bag charm order i've had them in person just not online so let's gather them up shall we I had two of these hanging. I was like, oh my god, I thought I made way more than just two of them. 
and I was like, maybe I just sold them all at my last market and just like left it at that. And then I like, literally went back there. They're on the wrong like stand. I had like 10 more. So I have the goods. Let's just pack them up now. You guys want to see me pack? I think so. Why don't I just shut my mouth for a little bit? Oh, really? And we're moving. Okay, thank you. I have all orders ready to go out. Oh, uh, what I need to do prep wise for this week is maybe a couple of, no, I shouldn't, I should not. I was gonna say maybe a couple of sweatshirts because I'm all out of my um, boyfriend, book boyfriend sweatshirts in like smaller sizes. All I have are like XLs and 2X and 3X, yeah. Um, left but it's so hot that I'm gonna wait I think I'm gonna wait and not do any of those until my when it's still gonna be hot my August show because that's gonna be a book themed market and it should be good so I'm gonna not I'm just gonna take what I have Literally what I have. I am going to make more bookmarks, but not necessarily to take, but just to keep going with stock. Because once August, hit, August hits, um, it's going to be crazy. It is going to be crazy. Not only do I start work, but also the amount of shows and markets I have signed up for. I have three days in August I'll be doing markets. Um, maybe four. No, I think just three. And then I have like three, four, five, six, seven, eight like eight market days in September. It's too much already, too much. I signed up for these before I knew it was gonna be full-time working. And I, it's not that I regret it, it's that I just, I wouldn't have had I known what was gonna happen, you know? So I think I'm gonna end it here and I'm gonna run Ash and I to the post office and then um, maybe, organize more in here or maybe just like hang out with him and color or something. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a depressed kitty? Because I think, I think we have one. <laughs> I just can't, he's, he's a tired. Hi, welcome back to the vlog. It is, what day is it? Tuesday, um, Tuesday. We have a show on Friday. Do we though? I'm not sure because I have no idea if I'm even like going. Um, and by that, I mean, I have no idea if they have me on the list because my emails have not been going through. And um, I think I had mentioned this. I've like, I've emailed twice now, actually three times now. Um, 
And I know the first one didn't go through because I sent an email being like, hey, we haven't heard from you. Are you coming? And we need to get you like on the list or like move on to someone else. And so I emailed them again, but then I didn't hear anything. And so I sent another email and I, I still haven't heard anything. And so I don't know if I'm on the list. I don't know if I'm on the list. Um, it's in Oxford again. I'm hoping I'm on the list, but I guess we'll find out. I'm still acting like I'm on the list. I have not seen this list though. Um, yes, so really that's what we're dealing with. I have some bookmarks. I want to make really just strawberries, I think. I counted. Okay, if you could guess right now how many bookmarks are on this rack, what would you guess? What would you guess? Leave a comment. Pause it. Leave a comment and tell me how many you think are on here um, because I'll tell you how many because I counted. So hopefully you paused it. There are 220 bookmarks on here. That is a ton of bookmarks. We have enough to get like over three grand in sales should we sell out, which <laughs> it's not going to happen. But isn't that crazy? Like that does not look like it's that many bookmarks, but it is. Um, it is. We got an exciting package in. Um, I wanted to test out, so I use Gildan sweatshirts for my blanks. I have some comfort colors. My, um, mom, mummy, mom, uh, design is in comfort colors and that's my most expensive item that I sell. It's $45. Uh, but everything else is Gildan and that stays in that like 30 range. So... I would love it if I could find a blank that isn't as expensive as Comfort Colors, um, but is nicer than Gildan. And I'm fine, I'm gonna still use Gildan because I like having lower price items. Like I like to have a $30 sweatshirt. It's it's affordable, you know? Um, do I want an ex a lot of expensive sweatshirts? No, no I don't. 45 is already like, like I got those sweatshirts on sale, that's why it's 45. It would have to be, they're like $30 now just to get a blank. And I'm embroidering it, takes so much time on a single uh, thread machine. There's no way, like I can't, it's not worth <laughs> buying comfort color sweatshirts and then charging that much because if I wouldn't spend that much, I'm not, I don't wanna like have other people do that. Does that make sense? Like I. I don't think they're worth as much money as um, they're, they are. My words are not coming out right. I don't think that I would want someone buying a comfort color sweatshirt for $60, but how much that they are charging as a blank, like it's, it's the supplier's fault. Like comfort colors should not be charging that much because I don't know what they expect like small businesses to do. Like how, we're expected to come out with like 60 to $80 sweatshirts. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Heck no. Heck no. Um, so anyways, I, I don't buy comfort colors. I just bought that blue, like the mom sweater because it was on clearance. Um, and even then the clearance was $20. So it's still a lot of money, but we're testing out a new sweatshirt line. I have not touched them. I have not opened them. I got them all in Randy's size because I figured he would want to wear them. Um, but I also got them because I wanted to like, test how they feel and how they perform. There was one terry cloth um, sweatshirt that I ordered. I don't know how that's going to embroider. So I want to embroider something on it and see how it works. Okay, so far so good. It's hefty. That is some weight. Original Favorites uh, is the brand. I found them on Instagram. <laughs> okay, so this is in a size, so this is one I bought for myself. This is a size large in the color natural. She is pretty. Kind of wish they wouldn't write their like logo on the um, bag here like it looks nice for them but like I would reuse it if it didn't have that on it I guess I still can reuse it though oh hello this is nice the global organic textile standard is the worldwide leading textile processing standard for organic fibers um all right made with 100 organic materials that's a flex. You can be like, um, on these, like, cause they're a little more expensive. Be like, it's a hundred percent organic materials. 
It's so soft. Okay, these, okay, I will tell you, they're expensive. This line is expensive, but when you can get it on sale, it's not this. I'm not, so this one, I don't have anything I want to embroider. Um, like, I don't want to sell these. I just, like, I bought some things just as samples to see, but, like, this specific one, I just bought for myself, so. I need to get you at a better angle. I guess, okay, that works. Oh, wow. I'm so happy with this. I didn't know what to expect. Wow, wow. Okay, moving on. So I'm keeping her. Next up, this is not the French Terry. So this one I also got, why did I get a large? Oh no, this is also, <laughs> can you tell I like this color? Okay, picture my cold design on here in like a um, beigey white and then like just slightly different from this color. That's cute. This is nice too. Like it feels much better than Gildan. It's very soft. I better make an order before their sale. They're having a warehouse sale right now. So I better do an order. How have I not seen these before? I've never heard of anyone using them. Like no one at least had said, no one's at least said that they use them. I guess people, it's very, very um, <laughs> likely people wouldn't maybe talk about it because they don't want, like if that's like a secret or something for their business, it's not for mine. <laughs> I'm pretty transparent with you guys if you have not figured that out. Okay, so this is the Terry Cot. The ter what do you call it? Oh, French Terry. That's what they call it. It is lighter. I just thought this one would be really cute with my um little frog design on it. But I only want to do a few. I don't know. I like how this is... I do like how this is a uh, lightweight... I don't know how this is going to be to embroider on it though, so I'm going to have to like actually embroider this and test it out. This also would be really cute with that cold on it. I really like these muted colors. That's so nice. <sighs> I don't want to do like a big clothing order though. But fall's coming up and people love buying sweatshirts. I need to start pumping them out now while I have time. I have a month left until I start work. Oh, this one. Wait, why are these all larges? I swear I bought Randy. My bad. <laughs> I told him I bought him a bunch of stuff and I guess I bought myself a bunch of stuff. But he goes in between sizes, so he might be okay. This is pretty too. What is my book boyfriend one going to be? Maybe I'll do that in that. Oh. I don't know why I got another one. Because these are the same. So I don't know why I bought two of them. Maybe I just wanted to see the color. This color is beautiful. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty color. Okay. What would I want? I don't know if how much I want to use hoodies, though, because a lot of people don't like hoodies. I know some people do. Um, so I don't know what I would do design-wise on a hoodie. I have, um, I normally don't purchase designs because then you run the risk of, like, anyone can have them, right? Uh, but I did find one that was, like, of a skeleton, and it said, you had me at trigger warning, and I thought that's going to be cute in the fall, um, Especially with like my book stuff, so I guess I could do something like that on a hoodie. That's a pretty color. And then lastly, I got another XL hoodie in this beige color because for some reason this color was cheaper in the hoodie than in the crew neck. And normally it's the opposite. And so I think I just wanted to see. I don't know why I wanted to see the color twice, but I did, so. I don't know. I wonder if my cold design on 
the hoodie would be cute. I can figure that out. I need to place an order though before that sale goes off. Okay. <laughs> um, we have to go to a pet store because this little gremlin down here um, has had some bad diarrhea. And so we need to get you some diarrhea meds. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Ho and hopefully have an update that someone got back to me and tell you for sure if we're going to the market on Friday or not. See ya. it's Wednesday Wednesday oh my gosh I woke up this morning and I came in here to get my like bead tray and the the organizers the like cube organizers that you guys saw that I put together right here so how oh, high I say hi to out of um they were wet they were so wet and I was like, oh my gosh, the roof must have leaked. Um, still could have, still could have, but here's the weirdest part. So like, it's 8 a.m. I'm not delirious. Like I made Randy come in because I was like, am I going crazy? I wiped up that water and like was puddled of water, but I couldn't find anywhere else there that was wet. It was just this one organizer right here. Um, and I wiped it up. I it, it was dry, it was dry. And I visually saw with my two eyes the organizer sweating. It was pulling water. I don't understand it. It has a finish on it. How is that sweating? How is that sweating? It makes no sense beyond what I can comprehend. So it's made out of like, I think it's made out of a particle board. I don't know though. Um, but I saw it pulling water up. Like it was like, it was sweating. It was, that's what it was doing. It was sweating. It was like sweating like I do when I'm working out where it's just dripping, you know? So strange, so strange. It's been very humid. And so I guess that's part of it. We had a really nasty rainstorm last night, which is why I was like, well maybe, and it's still possible maybe that it leaked in here and so we have a um, wood paneling up above so it's not like I I can't always see like if it does or doesn't I would just know by like if there's spots on the ground um but anyways maybe it leaked and then it absorbed and that's why it was sweating so bad because of the humidity I don't know I still don't know but it's not sweating anymore it's just very strange very strange. Let me know if that's happened to you before. This is just like a unique experience um, I've never had before. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we made, by we, me, uh, the charms. I don't think I did, I might have filmed myself making them, but it's the whale belt bag keychains. So I have a little whale and then I put a little, um, and then I put a little pearl inside of a seashell. So these are all separate things, but I thought they all thought it worked well together. So she's a cutie. That's a kitty hair. Whoops. We have four orders going out to the cats love this chair, by the way. <laughs> and Asher does too. We have four orders going out today. We have um Etsy ones again and one TikTok. Someone on TikTok just bought three bookmarks. She bought a floral bookmark, a night court bookmark, and a strawberry, maybe? I don't know, I filmed it so you'll see it. Um, but Wendy, <laughs> Wendy ordered, and 
Yes, I read your note, Wendy, but I swear I would have known it was you anyways because I know your profile photo because we've been chatting for like, I think you were one of my first subscribers. It's been like 13, 14 years and you've had the same profile photo of your little doggy. And so, yes, I absolutely would have known. Thank you for being like Peace Manor. I also, you know you by that too, but um, yeah, your photo gave you away. So thank you so much. Uh, Wendy ordered a little doggy bookmark. I think I have seven of them left. Um, they're so cute. I saved one for myself. Technically I have eight left, but like there's only seven available. Um, yeah, but she ordered the little doggy and I just wanted to say thank you because I know you are watching and honestly, like, oh, it's going to make me cry again. <laughs> well, that stopped me crying. <laughs> this man on a scooter to strip by absolutely cursing out no one but everyone. <laughs> that helps me actually. <laughs> Oh, anyways, um, she didn't write anything sad in the note, but like on the little comments, it was just like, I've been watching you since, um, like Chester and your townhouse and it just reminded, like you've seen, like, I just thought like, oh, that's really cool. Cause she watched me get Chester and then lose Chester. And yes, while I'm tearing up for Chester, it's more of the fact that like, oh, sorry, trying not to get sad. It's just really neat having someone that's been through so many of your life stages, whether that's like really happy moments or really sad moments or like health issues. Um, yeah, Wendy, you've, you've seen me through a lot of them. And I know we've chat a ton in the past through comments and I know you've had problems too and like really, really, really <laughs> on things. So thank you for writing that note. It was really sweet and I'm really trying not, I don't like crying, <laughs> especially not on film. So I might cut all this out. <laughs> So yeah, we did some packing orders, um, and I did, oh, I did get confirmation on the market on Friday. I will be going. They said they have me down, so that's great. They got at least one of my emails. So that's Friday. It's Wednesday. I only have a couple days left. I don't really want to do anything else as far as, like, prepping for this show, but I do want to continue making bookmarks. So I made 10 of my strawberry bookmarks um, last night and this morning I finished them up because it takes a while. So if I, I don't know why I bulk them in 10. It's just like kind of like an OCD type thing where I need to do 10. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that number. And the 10 takes a while. 10 takes a while. It's like a couple hours. So I really just need to start doing five of them. Five of them is manageable. <laughs> Uh, I need to get over it. I need to change the number, right? So I need to make myself be, want to do fives. Like fives will sound good. <laughs> um, today though, I have been, other than finishing those bookmarks, I had to make a few of the orders that I did not have done. Like a couple of my strawberry tumbler charms. So I made the new design, but like the old design I still have online. Um, although I think it's sold out now. So I don't know if I'm going to restock it. I can't. I have the supplies for it. I just like, I like the new design more, but apparently people like the old design. So I'll probably end up restocking those. Um, but I didn't have any stock, so I had to create a couple. And then I, I think I showed you guys, I had purchased some of my uh, pins from Hobby Lobby and I hate them. I hate them. So I've been going through all of my bookmarks and all my pens and just like um it's wasteful but I'm not gonna use them I'm th I throw them away because I can't return I already <laughs> they've been in use um and so I've been going through my bookmarks as I know I made them into my night court bookmarks um the last batch so I literally just took off that entire batch thankfully I hadn't sold any um and I am replacing them because I just don't like if you could see I can they're very like bendy and you don't want that. So like these are not, these are my, um, um, I got them, I Amazon ones. They're more expensive, but they're not as bendy. And these Hobby Lobby ones just aren't, they aren't it. So we are replacing all of those because the last thing I want is someone getting one that's not stiff. That's probably a better word to call it, but 
I don't want anyone to be able to contort it, you know? I've been going through, I had a batch and I haven't sold them yet because I've, I don't know if you noticed, like I have stuff on the sides. So the side ones are all my overstock, the ones that like the stock I'm making, I don't really need to bring to a show because I have so many already. 10 again is my number. I like to have 10 at each market. Okay, and anything more than 10 I've been putting on the sides. And so like I've done a couple batches um, of my night courts. So I'm like, I know they're gonna sell. Um, and I had one of my batches with Hobby Lobby pens and I think I even showed myself buying at Hobby Lobby. I didn't realize just how much I hated them until after I made them though. Um, and so there's probably seven of these that have my Hobby Lobby pens that I have just been going through and um, rebeating them on my um, 18 karat gold plated pens that I love so much more. Um, and it's not like they're bad. They are. I don't like them. But compared to my other pens, they're bad. Um, they're just like, they're not as sturdy. And you want them to be sturdy. So I am not going to sell any of these. I just need to fix them so I can sell them. Um, so I have seven of them I am rebeating, which isn't going to take that long. Because like I already have everything there. I just need to like um, take the beads off of the old pen and then do a bunch of connections. It's gonna take probably a good 20, 25 minutes. Um, but today I also have a dermatologist virtual appointment. I have one more month I could stay on Accutane for before I'm not allowed to be on it anymore. Um, but I think I'm just, I'm done. I think I'm done. I've had a couple of breakouts. Um, I'm a little nervous, my skin's just not just not gonna take to it. It has been a, like a ton better than it would have been, but I'm on pill, so I'm a little worried once I get off, it's just gonna go back. And I don't think one more month, and this is like over the normal, the normal is five months. I've been on six months now, and their max is seven months. And so I think I'm just gonna be like, we're done, you know, and see what happens. <laughs> I'm tired of um, having sensitive skin and all these body rashes although right now my rashes are pretty much gone i have a couple of areas on my arms um and my legs are pretty good so uh and my dry eye i would love to get rid of that again um the sweating on my upper lip would love to stop that <laughs> and my eyebrows so yeah yeah i think we're gonna cut that out and see what happens with my face in the next month. I think your medicine's supposed to work two months afterwards. So really in September, if I start breaking out a ton, we'll know that my skin uh, did not change its biology chemistry and um, pimple production <laughs> and oil production. So. And then Asher and I are going to go to the Y and work out. And that will conclude our day. Oh, I also have, I found at TJ Maxx, a really cute mug in the checkout line that I was like, I have to have this for my office. It's beautiful blue and daisies and it's microwave safe. And that's important because I never finish my coffee especially when I'm working, uh, before it's uh, after it's my, sorry, my brain cells. How many do I have left? Um, no, I never get to finish my coffee before it's cold. And so I'm constantly reheating it because you always, <laughs> almost always will have something happen where you can't like just have your coffee with you while you're drinking it. So yeah, I have that. And then I also in the checkout line found these and how cute. I think the kids will love these. They're adorable and have them pens. So yep, I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I will probably pick the camera up tomorrow because I'm going to have to do the loading of uh, my husband's truck tomorrow no i'll probably do that friday morning but i'll probably get everything sorted um and ready to go tomorrow so yeah i'll pick the camera up again so you'll see me in about a day thank you for watching goodbye
show day. It is in the afternoon, I guess, now. I don't have to leave until 3. I think it's like almost 1 right now. So I really need to get ready because I haven't packed the car yet, but it's been raining all morning. It was not supposed to rain today. It should stop, though, and get sunny. So it should be a beautiful day. Um, I did make some things, and I wanted to show you. Uh, first off... I am doing blind date with a book mark again, but this time I'm adding in a book. So how it's going to work is I have a book inside. They're $26, but you get to pick out any of my bookmarks that go with it. So you get a brand new hardcover book and a bookmark for $26. And all I have written on here is uh, the rating on Goodreads, like kind of what it is. Like this is a beach read. And a tiny snippet of like what's inside. So this one has family secrets and heartache. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this does. I have three of them, so I'll let you know how they do. I feel like because you get the bookmark with it, it's worth it. Um, I also finished off... Um, I also went ahead and just did some of the samples that I had, the uh, book boyfriend print on it, and I love how that turned out. This is like such beautiful like tonal colors. It's very pretty. So I don't think that I'm going to have these out for the market. I actually did three of them. Uh, this one I did, this is a different fabric than those, and I just do not, like it just is not meant for embroidery, I don't feel like. This is a French terry cloth, and it's just a little too thin to wear. I'm not gonna sell, I'm gonna keep this one, but like when I'm looking at it, I feel like I can see outside. <laughs> you should not be able to. So, um, not a good fabric, but I, I tried it. I did order like these to come in, and I had them for embroidery, but because I'm not gonna use them for embroidery, I'm wondering I need to test out this fabric on DTF to see if it's something I could use or if I just need to return it. Uh, but the other ones embroidered so beautifully. So I'm very excited about these. Not as excited about this, but it's going to turn into just like a casual lounge sweatshirt for me. Curious how it will do when I wash it just because it's already... Like it looks fine, but it's not, you know? <laughs> Anyways, that's mine. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to put this out because what I want to do today, I have so many Gildan sweatshirts and those like comfort colored mommy ones. I think I'm going to do all sweatshirts $29 today, like as like a market special to try to get rid of them. I think what I'm going to plan on doing my Gildan sweatshirts, I think I'll just do, how many times can I say think? Just do like fall related merch on them. So I can keep the prices low and then I'll have my like core collection being these um, small batch like embroidered book ones. I think that's what I play because I do have a lot of Gildan sweatshirts left. I think my, uh, my coping skills line, I'm still going to keep those on the Gildan sweatshirts because I want to keep those low in price and I don't want to do... I might even do them embroidered someday. I'll have to figure that one out. But no, I think the coping skills I'll keep on the Gildans, um, at least for now. And then I'll do like, when I do, I'll do some Halloween prints and some Halloween uh, embroidery too. And I'll have those on Gildans. I want to keep any holiday themed stuff. I don't want to do like expensive sweatshirts and you know, I want to keep those prices low too. Like that $30, $35 range, that's perfect. Um, but these sweatshirts are going to have to be more expensive because they are more expensive. So I have these listed at 49 which even then, like, so, like, when the, I got them on sale, um, that's, like, 49 is doable. But, like, at $30, $49 is not doable, you know, when they're full price. So I'll have to really, really think about what to do once that happens. But I love them. I love those sweatshirts. So, yeah, I am packing up and... Thank you for watching. Uh, next vlog will be the Oxford Red Brick Friday vlog. And I will see you then. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and you like market vlogs, you like studio vlogs, you just like 
uh, listening to me talk wonderful subscribe i am happy to have you thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye what was that i've never done that i meant to do this goodbye <laughs>